from this principle and the first one we looked yes. at, you, you seriously connected the self-image, yes. self-esteem, yes. self-worth yes. of a girl yes. to her father yes. from both principles. Yes. Yes. So the father is very important, critical yes. in determining the self-image, yes. self-worth, yes. self-esteem of a girl. Yes, yes. And, and what glass ceilings she breaks. Most women who have broken glass ceilings across the world had strong fathers. I talk about Sarah Blakely in the book. I talk about Chimamanda Adichie in the book and the role of their fathers or father figures. Chino Achebe played a, a, a level of, had a level of influence on Chimamanda Adichie. Her father too had very strong influences on her. And so um, there's the trusted male contribution to a girl child's upbringing, which cannot be under, underplayed. And should mm. never be underplayed. Then there is the principle of emotional competence. A mother's ability to manage her emotions as well as the emotions of others will ultimately determine the perception the society has of her daughter and the kind of opportunities society will present to her irrespective of her, of her skill sets, looks, education, religion, or any other affiliation. You are saying here mm. that the way mother m manages her own emotions yeah. will dictate the way a daughter will manage her own emotions and then ultimately determine her outcome in life yeah. generally. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here I, I dabbled a bit between um, the power of charm, okay, and um, the power of being emotionally aware. And emotionally sensitive you'd find that um, today we have certain very combative very in a sense um, masculine allow me to use the phrase women women who um, seem to be moving in the direction of wanting to be in charge the boss lady concept is that the feminism okay? movement right or something yeah. a bit different from that it, 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 it claims to be part of the feminism movement, but it's slightly skewed in another direction. Okay? <laughs> yes. But th th there's something that is God given to the woman, and it's the ability to manage emotions, has and those of others, manage emotional expectations, her charm more than her body, her, her charisma, her ability to say no. To certain, in certain um, situations, and it's that exertion, that ability to that ability that she doesn't use because she feels that um, she will not be accepted or she doesn't have a space in the world, uh, and um, she doesn't use it, and because she doesn't use it, she, her ability to communicate that to her child is also or to her daughter is impaired. I'll explain. A mother body image will be passed on to her daughter without her uttering a single word. She, her, 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 the first girl, the first woman that the daughter sees is her mom. And so she will talk, dispose, conduct, cook, think, act, um, sometimes react exactly the way her mom would without her mom saying anything. And so the, the emotional, emotional competence is more about modeling than mentoring. You, if you notice, the first nine principles talk about mentoring. Yes. But the last principle is about modeling. And so a confident woman will raise a confident girl. And so that's where women make the shift. My favorite principle was the principle of anti-sexism which is that when a woman confronts sexism, the men are less sexist. And sometimes sexism can come from women too. And so when you confront sexism, people are less sexist because again, it's just like racism. Mm -hmm. And so people don't want to be um, put in those boxes. I'm, oh, I'm a racist, oh, I'm a sexist, no. And so people are less sexist, less, less and you, you probably have run into this in our society where um, 
somebody is driving in traffic. I think I cited that example. I say, oh, you're driving like a woman. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you confront men <laughs> in that scenario, in that space, they, they are more um, conscious that, that this, this may not be true. Okay? And typically, if you, if you look back to at if where you've heard it, you probably notice that the person was actually driving when you when you when you rolled up to that person or you got up to that person in traffic was a guy oh patrick plenty of wisdom wrapped up in a very interesting fictional story thank you. well done thank you. thank you for joining us on channels book club thank nice you. to have you here such a pleasure to be here thank you very much